everybody, what's going on? What is going on? I am Solar Gray, the cinematic source. We're saying what's going on, guys. I am having a blast today. And uh, yeah, just trying to make sure that all the sound is doing what the sound is supposed to do. And welcome, welcome, one and all, to the dark side of the room. Um, the show where we talk about a whole bunch of stuff. Well, this is sort of the, this is, oh, what is the term I'm looking for? This is kind of sort of the review show. It's not bust a recap, as you, as you guys well know, because it's the wrong damn day. But, you know, this is the show where we give our little reviews and all that stuff. And if you're expecting something for um, Avengers Endgame, that's tomorrow. But, um, yeah, as I was saying, ow, 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 okay. I am Solar Gray, the cinematic sorcerer, saying, hey, what's going on? And for your guys' amusement and merriment and all those other words that are adjectives for something pleasant, I am here today with my good friend... Nerd Soul. No, <laughs> hey guys, it's Nerd Soul. No, yeah, great to see cool. y'all. <laughs> it's great to see y'all. Thank you for having me. I'm back here at the Wizard's Tower doing it up, having a good time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Hey, thanks for coming down. You know, again, I was like, I was sitting up with this guy and I'm like, man, I forgot to make him a title card. I actually ran out of spell components, but you know, you come here one more time and hey. you're going to have one of these cool little fade in things like ooh, I got. So, yeah, look ooh, at me flexing. Yeah, yeah, look at all that. Ooh, that's know? what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's you know, what get I'm that saying. three timers card. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Actually, technically, I'll sort of be a three timer today, yeah. sort of. Yeah, but that's of that's that for did. something. Yeah, there's something else. Yeah, that's, that's what we had to do with the matriarchs <laughs> thing. But yeah, but that yeah. was that was for you. That was yeah, yeah, thing. yeah. So that's so technically, yeah. I'm a one timer. This, no, this is my first. This is my first time my technically. Channel. Ah, okay. okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. cool. Good boy. So you know, again, um, loving that you're here. Um, thank you guys for showing up. Um, ooh, yeah, I like that one a lot better. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, thank you guys for showing <laughs> up. Um, and again, I want to say super thanks to all of our people over in NP City. What's going on, guys? You know, I swear, you know, sometimes clever NP little City, vixen, really? Word, uh -huh. yeah, word. Got clever uh, little vixen in the house, yeah, repping. Yeah, no, tell, telling you, man, the vixen is is the most. <laughs> Like the most representative. I oh, mean, okay, that, okay. That, that one has been at practically every single broadcast we've had. So wow. Let, let's talk about MVP for um okay. for fans and all that stuff. So yeah, and um, you know, you guys know what's coming. You guys know what's coming because you know we're here. We are here specifically to talk about um a show that we are watching, and I will not be covering over on um on Buster Recap because we're just way too far in. But oh, oh, what is that that I hear? What, what is it that I hear? Oh, I hear the music that says, if you guys want to be a part of this whole thing, feel free to join us in the chat. But if you guys don't like what we're saying and all that stuff, then here's the process. Number one, subscribe. Um, number two, share. And number three, pull up your keyboard and send me a complaining email at backinthedeck at gmail.com. That's B-A-C-K-I-N-T-H-E-D-E-C-K at gmail.com. Feel free to check us out on YouTube, especially while I'm here with this guy so many <laughs> times. Just, you know, hit up um, the YouTube channels. Follow us on Twitter at Back in the Deck. That's at B-A-C-K-I-N-T-H-E-D-E-C-K. And, of course, join our Facebook group and that wretched hive of scum and villainy that we call the Zuckerberg <laughs> program. And oh um, you guys can talk to us about what you're playing, what you're watching, what you're reading, all that other stuff that we're doing. And don't worry, because if people decide that they're going to be jerk monkeys, I use the ban hammer so hard, so often. And of course, follow us over on the Instagrams. Now, again, for the second part of our begging section of this particular thing. <laughs> oh, wait, I didn't mean to turn the music all the way down. Wait, um... Uh, there we go. Um, yeah, so for the second part of our begging thing, if you guys really like what we're doing and you want to help us out, I would appreciate that greatly. If you guys were to think, you know what? I could use... I, I need to feel good about myself. I, I need to help out um, young brothers and sisters that want to get into comic books, get into games, you know, and feel like they belong somewhere, feel like they have somewhere. Well, that's easy. All you got to 
do is head on over to our Patreon. That's at patreon.com slash BID underscore P. And for as little as a dollar a month, you get access to every single thing. All of the programs that we do, all of the, um, all every single one of the shows that we do i tend to have them up on patreon within a day of our live casts that's just in case you miss us and all that stuff and our tiers start at a dollar one dollar one dollar a month and you get access to the polls and you can nudge us in directions of what you guys want us to start reviewing or start talking about and things like that um and they go up to as high as a hundred dollars but if you got a hundred dollars a month to throw at us oh we got some stuff for y'all um so yeah just join us over here at patreon.com slash back of the deck now or slash bid underscore p so now that i got all the begging and stuff out of the way what what the music is still going why is the music still going oh because i forgot to tell you guys about our soundcloud that's right if you guys don't want to look at my pretty face and the pretty faces of all the people i have here like him that's right then you can just head on over to soundcloud and we upload all of the audio from all of our shows for free for as long as i can afford to keep paying the soundcloud thing and you can download it and keep it forever listen to it in the shower listen to it in the car if you're like me and you're in southern california and you spend all day in traffic (laughs) you can either spend all your time listening to the same thing like the achy breakers of the hearts or you can be nailed to the gun or of course like a lot of our friends out there you can try and spend your time in traffic deciphering trap music like you're trying to figure out why your five-year-old cousin is crying with the i did i did i I Um, Or you can listen to my sexy nasally voice as we talk about everything that's coming up in gaming and games and movies and TV and all the stuff that makes you a good nerd. That's right, a good nerd. Not one of those bad nerds that say, I like what I like and I don't want you around. No, we we, we ain't with them. We ain't with them. They're, 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 They're welcome here. They just can't take over. So with all that... I got to turn off this music, don't I? That's right. And with the turning off of the music, I said the turning off of the music. All right, sorry about that. Um, yeah, so let's uh, let's talk, brother. <laughs> let's, let, let, let's do some talking. So, so, yes, I'm listening. We Tell got we got we, we got a, we got a comment on one of the videos that we did together. Mm. And they were like, you know, you talked just one well, oh, well, <laughs> well, well, both of them. All right. But but on one of them, I someone said, "Stop hey. acting like that." All in words, they were like, yeah. "They were like, hey, you know, you talked about shadow. Mm-hmm. You talked about Anansi. Uh huh. But recently, we had to pour out a little bit of the juice mm. for Mad Sweeney. Oh man! And they said, "Oh man," because you know Americans <laughs> love the Irish. Oh, they love the Irish. Man. In fact, every white person I talk to was part Irish. Hey, look at me. I'm an Irish on my back. On my father's is, side. Is there they're <laughs> part Irish and then they're also part Native American? Yeah. And is yeah, don't <laughs> we'll we'll leave that. We'll leave we'll leave that. We'll leave that to the side. But they say, you know, go talk about Mad Sweeney. All right. All and right. I said I said, Hey, well, I'm gonna be at the Wizards Tower <laughs> okay. on Saturday anyway. Okay. So, so why yeah. not just sit down and rap a taste about good old Sweeney? Rap a taste. Yeah. Rap a taste. <laughs> good I old never Sweeney. Heard that. I, I never heard that phrase before. Rap a taste. That's like coming down on the running car, my dude. Yeah. We're going to rap a taste while it's tie. <laughs> so, uh, that, yeah. So I, I figured, you know what? Maybe maybe it's about time to talk about Mad Sweeney. Okay. You know, look back on, on the. The years that we spent with him and the years that we didn't and that we right. saw a little glimpse of. Right. <laughs> you know. Well, um, that that is, how can I put this? There is so much, so much that you got to think about when it comes to, um, to Matt Sweeney. Because he is, how can I put this? There's a lot of, a lot of layers to how people can see him. You, you, mm-hmm. you, you see what I mean? It's um, like, if you will, a lot of times people think about characters like Matt Sweeney, okay? And they're like, all right, well, what do we got? Well, 
truthfully, Matt Sweeney is, well, he's a leprechaun. <laughs> but a lot of people don't quite understand what leprechauns are, okay? Um, leprechauns have a whole bunch of stuff. Because, you know, when you think about a leprechaun, I know what you're thinking about. You know, I do. I do. I totally get. You do? Yeah, I do. Okay. Okay. No, seriously. You think about a leprechaun. <laughs> yeah. You think about leprechauns and first image that comes to your mind looks a little bit like that. A yeah, little bit. Yeah. You know. It's like, it's like kind of like Wolverine dressed up, but he's mad. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> They're always talking about, you know, little bitty Irishmen. Or, you know, you got Darby O'Gill and the little people. Mm, um, mm, and, mm, of mm. course, you know, sometimes leprechauns go to the go to the hood. So you get Warwick yeah. Davis in there. Um, yeah. But you think, that, you know. That's one of the most classic, <laughs> one of the most bad classic movies <laughs> ever, ever. Leprechaun goes to the hood. It says it in the title. It, it is honest. And it delivers. You know, so, you know, yeah, it, it is honest. It, mm -hmm. It's about as honest as Shoot 'em Up, which is the most honest movie that there ever has been. Yeah. So, yeah, definitely. <laughs> but yeah. So, I mean, um, when you think about leprechauns, right? Mm -hmm. Most people think, you know, um, most people think of Notre Dame, you know, the little bitty midget. And of course, maybe Lucky Charms. Yeah, I was, I was getting there. So, yeah, I was like, so, yeah, you, you know. Gotta, like up there, get oh, your yeah. breakfast on. Yeah, you know. yeah, you gotta get your breakfast on. You know, get that whole thing. Make sure you get that nutrition in the morning. <laughs> yep, because nothing like a great bowl of sugar and milk. <laughs> nothing like a great big bowl of sugar and milk and that drink that you're supposed to drink down while watching cartoons. And like, sort of marshmallowy things. Like, is I it? Always wonder. Have they been that. proven to be true marshmallows, or is it like? Marshmallow-ish. I, I don't ask questions. I, I don't ask questions. I just ate the, I, I ate the sweet goodness. Ah. But I was always more one for Cap'n Crunch. So ah, yeah. That, that was my thing. Um, Cut your gums up. Yeah, but <laughs> the other thing, though, is that the mythology um, that deals with leprechauns is not very well known for um, a lot of Americans. Mm. Okay? Um, yeah. You see, here's... um, um There is... How can I put it? Number one, um, and he talked about this in the show, but one of the names for fairies in Irish mythology is the she. Sometimes the the Lenunshi, Sometimes you know, just <clears throat> make a pr make up a pretty word and add she at the end. But, okay. You know, um, the most common that we know of is the Ban She. Yeah. And we'll get to that <laughs> a little bit later, but that's kind of the old Gaelic term for fairy. Okay? OK, and a lot, you know, when a lot of people think fairies, you know, they think these guys, you know, they're like, oh, they're all prepared. happy and you know. chilling and yeah, guess smiling yeah. and looking, got flowers. And OK, yeah, you know, and it's the like, real oh, teeny. Look, they're all they're they're teeny or they're pretty or, you know, they got wings and Just having a and good time and stuff. Yeah. Never heard nobody. You know, um, one of the biggest images right there with a lot of like, you know, yeah, fairy Wicca, fairy magic. What people don't understand is that fairies in Irish folklore are the monsters that live in the woods. Mm. Okay, we're talking. Um, yeah, there are fairies out there, and it's like, oh yeah, but you know, you 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 grab a leprechaun and you get the pot of gold. Yeah, what they don't talk about <laughs> is you mess with the fae and they steal your children. Oh. They turn you crazy. They, um, you know, I mean, they turn you real crazy. They do things like um, they'll give you the voice of creaking wood. And that doesn't sound like it's a bad thing. You say, hey, that's all good. Except every time you that? try and say something, it's like. <laughs> and I'm like, I like uh, excuse water. me, was that a cheeseburger yeah, and exactly. two fries? It, it, exactly. You know. <laughs> So, um, and then, you know, that brings us into the territory of Mad Sweeney, who yes. is a very, very thick character, as we saw in episode seven. Yeah. Right. So what did you think of episode seven? That's that's my question. That is an episode that it kind of it kind of hurt to watch because you see this guy that for me grew on me. At first, mm -hmm. I was like, man, this guy is just in the way. He's in the way. <laughs> get get out of my way so we can have the story. You're in my way. You know, it shadows the hero, uh, sort of. He's kind of like Is walking. He? He's yeah. He's <laughs> he's like sort of being dragged along, but you're in the way. 
All right, okay. you're in the way, you're causing trouble. And then as we went along, he grew on me. Okay. And in this episode, I truly felt bad for him because we never knew the extent to which he didn't remember his own history uh, due to whatever. And we didn't even get into it in the show, like what had been done to him to make him forget, ah. you know, forget all this stuff. And to know that he was once a God King and, you know, to see where he had come from and what he had fallen from grace and all this, you know, it, it, he, Hey, look, he's, he's an underdog right. now and I feel for him. Actually, that, that's and, one and of it kind of hurt me about the show is that all of them are underdogs. That's, mm. that's like an, that's an overall arc. Odin and everybody he's gathering up they're they're losing because yeah. world media, <laughs> Christianity, all that stuff. That's kind of pushing them to the side, as we found out in episode six when it came to Thor. Um, but if you are, right, um, everything in the Matt Sweeney episode was subtle. Okay. Um, we know what happened to him. Essentially, he was cursed by a Catholic priest. Well, yeah, he yeah. was cursed by a monk because um, I forget which years it was, but we are talking around 11th century or so. Wow. Um, Ireland was a polytheistic um, country. It had, it believed in the old gods and the fairies, and you know they had loadstones and they and they had their own. Um, I think God, my Gaelic is off. I only took a summer course when I was nineteen. Oh yeah, but, me um, too. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> forgot all of my forgot all of my Gaelic by now. I, I was well versed in the Gaelic tradition. Yeah, you know, honestly, <laughs> my Gaelic accent comes off more as Klingon. But it was like the um, Dwil Dudanin or something like that. Um, sorry, hey, if you guys are watching this in Cork, my bad. Okay. <laughs> I'm from the United <laughs> States. Um, but, yeah, um, these were the spirits of the forest, like the spirits of the woods, spirits of the storm, you know, all that stuff. And then came Catholicism. And yeah, wiped all that away. Exactly. And uh, they're like, that gotta go. Yeah. Uh what he was talking about with his wife was like the bells going off in the background where his wife is going, Look, make alliances. Don't and uh Sweeney himself as a god king, he was the one that was keeping the religions out of Ireland. Yeah. He would you know, um with with those war scenes though. <laughs> Man, <laughs> war scenes. I, I even said I was like, yo, I kinda I kind of want a whole episode. Can like, can like, we replace the episode where we see uh, the girl from Ireland coming over, the one that was stealing stuff, and then coming over, came, <laughs> came back stealing stuff again, got in trouble. Can we replace that episode with like a war episode? Just because uh. him running, yo, when he jumped up and stabbed that like giant in the eyeball, mm -hmm. which is guys, I, I know that's it's bad, but it's American guys. I mean, yeah. come. Uh, Sue me. Yeah. So no, um, that was City, sweet. NP City is actually bringing up a good point with, um, yeah, uh, St. Patrick, you know. Um, yeah, Sweeney is St. Patrick, you know, like St. Patrick's Day. Mm. Um, but St. Patrick is known for driving the snakes out of Ireland. That is uh, kind of the Protestants yeah. out of Ireland. Um, yeah, he was there protecting the old ways the old religion, the uh, old culture. So when Catholicism showed up, he was like, nah, nah, not on my, I've, yeah. I protected this place from the French. <laughs> I protected this place. Uh, yeah, because he said the French, the Spanish. Uh -huh. um, and I can't remember, because he was talking about all the other like religions that were coming. Exactly. So who knows what else? Yeah, and at the time, Conversion wasn't a matter of walking door to door, passing out pamphlets, talking yeah, about the good yeah. things. Yeah, matter of fact, I, oh, okay, guys, <laughs> look, look, reel it in. Because a lot of, a lot of people, especially especially Christians. And they're like like oh well, you know the crusades and you know everybody's all happy and everything. Okay, this is what the crusades essentially were. <laughs> Hi. Do you want to be a Christian? No. All right, you're going to jail or you're dead. One <laughs> or the other. Oh, and that, give that's us all it. that gold furniture you got over there while you're at it. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's it it well, wasn't a good time. Yeah, but, those, but we're talking like the first and second crusades. That was really the invasion of Israel in the 1400s. Yeah. Um, and this is pre that. But wow, yeah, back then okay. it really came down to um, we going to spread the word of our religion. Yeah. And you do it at the tip of a spear. Yes. You know, tip of a spear with a bunch of yod. You know, that blue stuff was getting him high. 
<laughs> that's oh yeah yod is a hallucinogenic um it's a hallucinogenic balm that they put oh. on you so imagine taking a bunch so of it's mushrooms. like putting pcp or something and then going into a fight exactly mm-hmm. That's exactly it. Think uh, about that the next time you watch Breaking That's Ball. why he was able to get air like that. I mean, he got, <laughs> he got up. He was on some LeBron James when he jumped. I was like, go on. I ain't going to Yeah, there was, there was some Jordan in Sweet, there. there. Sweeney, I was Jordan. like, go ahead. I see. You yeah, made me proud. Especially <laughs> since he's 6'8". <laughs> oh, yeah. I keep forgetting how tall he is. Yeah, he is. And that was one of the biggest insults because, you know, I mean, the actor himself is about 6'7", 6'8". And, um, but the character Matt Sweeney is like 6 feet 8. I mean, that's... That's NBA. It's very tall. Yeah, that is very NBA, tall. You know, and um, one of the insults was when Catholicism took over um, other religions. It goes, all right, this is your religion. Let me just give you a little bit of yours, so y'all stop burning stuff and shutting up. Like, yeah, you know, I had to ask myself like, that question when I was a let's, kid. We'll let you keep a little bit of it, so you're not too mad at us. Yeah, but what they let you keep they turn into something stupid. Yeah. You know, they'll be like, well, you can have fairies, but they have to be like this big. They're yeah, not, exactly. they're not powerful anymore. Exactly. They're not strong. You know, they're like, you know, just tweedling around on their little feet you know, and they can't do anything. Dances, yeah. And, little buckles. You yeah. Know? And they can't do anything else. Well, you know, I fi- I found this out when I was young because I kept asking the question, what does the resurrection of Christ have to do with a bunch of rabbits that hide, egg, hide chicken eggs all over my yard? I, I don't get it. But then, well, to, to make the medicine go down, they had to put some sugar in it. So they were like, okay, look, all right, it's people, it's people, yo, this Christianity ain't catching on as fast as we want it. Mm-hmm. All right, so all right, look, okay, how about this? All right, we'll give you a piece of your, we'll give you a piece of uh, Ostara or Ishtar or, mm-hmm. you know, any any of those versions. We'll, get, we'll give you a piece of that, okay? But you're going to have to take it, mm-hmm. all right? With the resurrection, all right, yeah. we got, we got, to, we got, you know, can we, can we work out here? Yeah, same, same thing, thing with Christmas. With, yeah, yeah, same thing with Christmas. And I'm a big fan of Yule. Matter of fact, I don't know mm. most people. As soon as I explain the ritual of what Yule is, people are like, you know what, I'm down with that. It was essentially chop down the biggest tree that you could find, those Christmas trees, set it on fire, and party until it goes out. <laughs> Now, I'm well, just I guess, saying. I guess it's not a bad idea. I mean, what if it's cold outside? It's supposed to be. Oh, it, oh, because it's, it's burning on Christmas. fire. <laughs> it's on fire, uh, so you keep it warm. You know, you got DJ Khaled out there. Exactly. You know, he's, he comes. You know, and everything's all good. And it's a big tree, so sometimes you getting turned up for like four, five days. Wow. <laughs> yeah. 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 I can yeah, see it. Yeah. He's just like you know. It's not a bad idea. About it like that. That's why we, and that's probably why they have now the Yule log, the yes. little baby. Ah. Yeah, They're exactly. Like, Look, we'll give you a little, ah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> little piece of it. Well, you get the little, ah, and then you can put the tree in, and that's yeah. what you put your presents on. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That says the birth of our Lord. Yeah, it's when like. When was the last like, time you had some myrrh? Yeah, it's like, it's like, uh, where's, but where's Jesus in this? Oh, don't worry about it. It's, it just, it, it's He's in a display on the yard. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, his name. Yeah. Christ must. Yeah, exactly. You know, which means Mo Christ. Yeah, Mo, Mo Christ. Christ. Now, now, now open up your presents, get your toys. Yeah, uh, and get um, some Mo Christ. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, um, but what, um, what Christianity did, ooh, oh, I'm having a little thing there. That's okay. Um. Looks like the transmission's still going, so I'm gonna just keep on going. Um, so what the what the Christians did were they turned fairies into little things, they made leprechauns a joke, under the premise of, yeah, but y'all still got your thing. Yeah, you still got you it. Still talk. It's, yeah. yeah, it's still fine. I don't I don't see what the problem is. Yeah. What are you so angry about? And Sweeney was a king that was supposed to make an alliance with the head priest of that region. And so when the other, when the uprising happened, Sweeney was supposed to betray his people and go with the side of the Catholics. And he looked at that. He heard the Banshees will. And he's like, nah, son, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I, I ain't doing that. And he yeah. left. And wow. unfortunately, the priest had God on his side, too. So he's like, wait, you're going to turn your back and you're going to go. You know what? I'm going to curse you. I curse you to insanity. Like wow. ab- absolute total insanity. But we also saw another thing that I really, really dug is that we saw that he, in some form, in the past, had battled with Odin. 
embested Odin looks like quite easily. Yeah. Uh, especially since Odin's supposed to be like the guy. Yeah. But maybe he was slipping that day. Maybe he didn't get his breakfast. I don't know. Whatever happened, you know, Odin took an L. <laughs> and we get this thing about his life from Ibis where he's like, you know, and this kind of goes in with the finale of Supernatural this week, but, you know, it's a whole other show. But um, That we don't talk about here. <laughs> I love that show. But, uh, I'm kidding. But I tried stories. to get into dude. I, I tried to get into brothers, dude, bro. I, I really did, but I just I, I I'm brothers, like, dude, bro. Yeah, you know the bra brothers trying to you know do some do some try stuff. to do things. Yeah, but um, the story is truer than the truth. Is uh something that kind of I guess showed us how much of his life had probably been rewritten mm -hmm. by either Odin's doing or Odin's doing through someone else. Um, because you even have Ibis saying, you know, hey, the storyteller isn't concerned with the truth. And, you know, through his memories of his wife and child, which kind of kind of gets you, man. It kind of hurts, you know, when they had to come out. This dude's eating ants. Used to be a god king. He's eating ants out there in the woods, and his wife has to come and bring him like some crumpled up bread or something. You know, it's it's, it's sad. And then you yeah. see and the conversation with his daughter. I ain't gonna lie, man. Manly tears. Yeah, I and was, I was crying some manly tears. The relationship that he has with uh, with America now, and just where he is in general, it shows that you know he he's just lost so much that it's it's almost impossible to imagine him climbing back to something, I guess, at that level. And, you know, once again, being concerned with the truth, you know, how can someone from that level, someone who was a God King, can someone let something like that go? You know, you know, because saying, you know, we're not we're not concerned with the truth. Can someone like him let that go? And seeing how he struggles with that um, after speaking with Ibis and his kind of like, um, I guess you could say his his approach, <laughs> his approach to Odin is what really, you know, really let me know, like, this guy is way deeper than we ever knew before. He's he's angry and he's mad, but he's mad for a reason. Yeah. And, you know, it's almost like he's forced to be mad because he was cursed and he's dealing with acting outside of his nature, I think. Um, um, acting outside of his nature. How meaning, so? meaning like, you know, he was never it, he was never like the God of insanity or the God of crazy. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> so like since he's forced to be like this kind of like crazy guy will, you know, he's kind of like forced to be something that he's almost not. And that, you know, that struggle that he goes through is something that really, it really spoke to me, man. And I, I felt, I felt bad for him. I still, I still wonder if maybe we'll get a re resurrection um, or, you know, maybe something next season. I know it's already been reported that the, the actor is on another show, but you know, when you have recording schedules, you never mm -hmm. know. Maybe we can get an episode or two later on, you know, season three or maybe four or something like that. But, you know, it, it just made me feel for him. It made me feel full. All right, uh, no, I I get where you're coming from on that. See, I'm I'm stuck in a couple of different ways. All right, okay? I, I'm really stuck in a couple of different ways. One of the ways that I'm really stuck is um, hang on, let me just oh, yeah, getting old ain't easy. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, he made it very clear. Everything he was talking about made it clear. Like I don't like Odin, but I owe him. Yeah, and that whole thing. And again, this is. You have to you have to have done a lot of the studying that I did to get a lot of the subtle subtext. Yeah, because um, you read, read the, book. the book, and um, I haven't read the book. Oh, so, not just read the so, book, but I studied the mythology and the okay. old religions and all that stuff. Um, and one of the things is if a human or if someone kills a god in one on one combat, especially under Neil Gaiman's writing. Um, he either owes that God when it's resurrected or you replace that God. That's why there's always a devil. That's why there's always a God of War. Um, if you play the game, God of War, as soon as Kratos kills Ares, 
Mm-hmm. Kratos gets the job. You see, you, you see what I mean? Okay. So that whole um, him complaining about how he owes Odin and then how he killed the giant with one eye. It's kind of like, oh, okay, right, so. I, I see where you're going with this. I, I see where you're going with this. Yeah, this is this is the thing. Is, okay, okay. Yeah. So it makes sense. makes sense. It, it kind of, now that kind of illuminates why he was so angry about it. But it's weird that he couldn't fully remember in the last day or last days, I guess you could say, kind of why he owes him. Well, that's that's part of the madness. That was part of the uh, curse, you know, because let's face it, um, everybody's favorite X-Man at this point lived under that curse until 2003. <laughs> you know, I'm talking, of course, about yeah. Wolverine going, yeah. I don't know where I come from. I think I was in Japan. Oh, I'm so... And then it turns out, you know, his name was Jimmy. <laughs> oh, man. So, that's, that's cold. Hmm? That's cold. But accurate? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess. Good old Jimmy. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> um, so when it came down to um, Sweeney, um, he had a lot of stuff that was gone up. The curse from the, curse from the priest, um, the hurting of Odin, the failure of keeping Ireland not Christian, um, and the fact that he couldn't remember all of it. Like the fall from grace from God King and... How um, you ever been to a Renaissance fair? Um, no, nah, no. Nah. I know what it is, but I've never been there. Okay. Um, I used to work at them um for a long time, and one of the things they drill into your head is wardrobe. Okay. Wardrobe, wardrobe, wardrobe. And the reason he asked um his wife like, "Where's that nice dress? The yellow dress with the red trim?" That right. was that was kind of showing of his stature at the time because yellow is hard. It's a very difficult dye. And, um, oh. Yeah, yellow and red, like the royal colors, were royal because you need a lot of Because of the process money to that it, it took to. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like the only way to get purple, I believe, was to find a bunch of um, scallops or um, it was some, some um, oceanic mollusk and then grind up their shells and then soak them in vinegar wow yeah that's crazy yeah and like one of the only (laughs) ways to get yellow was to use saffron and today okay today the only way to get saffron uh they're the little stems they're in the middle of flowers yeah a specific flower and um the only way to get them is to pick the flower and pull them out by hand like even today um, saffron costs more than gold. Wow. Like pound for pound, it, it literally costs more than gold. Like 10 saffron stems is like $120. That's how much it costs today. Wow. So think about how much, um, the only reason that monks robes are that is because they live where the saffron grows and they got nothing to do all day. <laughs> you know? They got nothing else going on. Yeah, that's pretty much it. But <laughs> saffron only grows in areas like that. So in order to get yellow, he had to send somebody pretty much to the mountains of mm-hmm. Tibet and then have them pick tons of those flowers, yeah. pull out those stems and then soak those stems in water and vinegar and then dye the dress. Wow. You know, yeah. That's, so, so that showed the okay, yeah. cool. So when so he's like, subse- "Where's your sub- pretty dress?" Yeah, like, subtext. Where the hell is that dress that I spent all that? Yeah, money all that on? money on. <laughs> all right, I spent yeah. all that money. I need to see this dress. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it's like, why are you wearing rags? Yo, why are you wearing rags? Why am I wearing rags? <laughs> like, I'm supposed to be on? a king, and she's like, "You're not a king anymore." Remember? Exactly. Oh yeah. It's like you're oh, not. Yeah. You're not a king. Remember, you left everyone. Yeah. Exactly. So that should have just double crossed him. That would have been mm-hmm. fine. Well, just double... He did double cross him. That's well, why oh, he was at. That's why he was well, cursed. Well, what I mean by double cross is like be like not leave the battlefield. Just be like, oh yeah, yeah, we you know we working together. Wait until like you help me beat them, <laughs> and then turn around and be like, slug it. Oh, I see. <laughs> I see what you're saying. I'm, I'm not saying that you should do that, but I'm saying that you should do that if you're mad, Sweeney. Okay. <laughs> But it's like it's like cut yeah. real quick. Uh, All right, out yeah. of that. <laughs> so you know, just to give um, just to give, yeah, just a little bit of a thing. Um, just to give a little a little bit of of a thing, so it doesn't sound like I'm talking out of my br- my my butt right there. <laughs> um, seriously, 
Saffron on Amazon, 28.3 grams, $139. Woo. That's a teaspoon, y'all. <laughs> that, that right there, that's a teaspoon of saffron, $250, or $150. You know, that's how much it costs today with mechanized farming. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So that's crazy. One, yeah. Yeah. Seriously. So next time you're at somewhere like PF Chang's and they're like saffron rice, $25. Now you know why. <laughs> you know, makes sense. Makes sense. And again, where's your yellow dress? Now, seriously, where's your yellow dress? Yeah. It's like, like that's a house payment. Where's yeah, that it's yellow like, dress? It's like, yo, like I spent all this time and money to get you that dress. Exactly. Walking around here in rags. And red is just as difficult. Red, mm. blue, purple, yellow, and um, red, blue, yellow. That's why they was rocking like gray all the time. It's just like, look, we got white and we got gray. Gray and brown is easy. <laughs> yeah, it's like, look. <laughs> gray and brown is super easy. It's like, look, we got white, we got gray, and at times brown. Yeah. <laughs> now, see, if you're in the Game of Thrones, you would also see that reflected as well. Yeah, I've seen because. a couple of episodes now. Yeah, the rich uh, family. Their, the colors that they wear all the time, white and red. Well, I saw, you know? I, now this is out of context because <laughs> yeah. I don't watch the show. I've seen two episodes. Well, I've seen one and a half episode of my life. The first episode and the episode where you see why Hodor is named Hodor. Oh, man. So, but I saw some people uh, with uh, Captain Phasma. I was like, you got some leather on? Mm -hmm. They was wearing them nice little leather vests. I was like, oh, oh yeah. yeah. Captain Phasma? Oh, yeah, yeah she with was, your little rich self. She was given all that by the richest dude in the country. So, I mean, you know, <laughs> you know. He, he, didn't, he didn't marry her for her cooking. No, no, <laughs> like, he didn't marry her. <laughs> well, no, <I'm> just, <laughs> yeah, he didn't marry her. It was like, you know what? You taught me how to be a better man. I need you to finish my job. But we ain't talking about that show. Yeah. <laughs> a better yeah, man. No. Yeah, we ain't talking about yeah. that show. So, yeah. Um, but with Sweeney, you know, he had all that magic. He had all that belief. And, again, the horde. And the horde is real important to talk about in this yeah. show. Yeah. Um, the hoard is the sun's treasure. Um, gold was always considered the sun's metal, just like the silver is considered the moon's metal. Mm -hmm. You know, the two precious metals that are really hard to find and really hard to mine. Um, not as hard as aluminum because yeah. that's, that's a completely different thing. But, um, but, um, oh, look at that. Um, the sun's treasure was essentially all the gold that Ireland could get together, and it was being held magically by the fairies, and that's what the whole that's what the hoard was because the fairies got the metal from the sun. <laughs> you know. Mm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, that's cool. what the pot of gold is supposed to be, and all that stuff. Ah, uh, you know. Follow the rainbow. Yeah, exactly. That's <laughs> that's why he could just like pull gold out of like, here. You go. Have a gold coin. Have a gold yeah. coin. Have a gold coin. And his first conversation with Shadow in the beginning of the episode, where Shadow's like, you can pull gold coins out of nothing. He's like, yeah, but I can't spend them. So give me a 20. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <clears throat> you know. That, so yeah. is it a situation where he can't personally spend them or no one can spend them? Because I don't, I don't know if they ever really covered um, how that worked. Do you know anywhere that accepts gold coins as payment? Well, no, nah, but I mean, you can always take it to a bank, have it appraised or whatever, and they can, can give you? you an exchange. Can you? Well, I mean, like after, some banks, I'll say that yeah, some yeah. some banks. Because like, yes. when Nixon pulled pulled America off the gold standard, if you show yeah. up to the bank with a gold bar that doesn't have a government number on it, you're going to jail. <laughs> they're gonna they're gonna want to know. They're gonna they're gonna want they're gonna have some questions for you. If you just roll up with a brick uh -huh. <laughs> with a brick of gold. They're going to be like, that's, that's interesting. Uh, could you could you wait right here just a moment, please? <laughs> mm -hmm. And again, thank you, Mr. World. Uh, that's the stuff that he does, and that's what they're fighting against. Yeah. You know, so. that's a good play for Mr. World mm -hmm. is like, you know, attack their money so they can't, you know, what they have isn't particularly valuable anymore. Well, their valuables, their their lives. I mean, our lives exist on paper. We are nothing yeah. but our social security number, our driver's license number, blah, 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 blah. Um, and then you got Matt Sweeney. Who is he? Where's he come from? Why has he got all this gold? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, the, and, Any number of questions the police would like to have answers to. Yeah, exactly. And as long as he had the gold that's in dead wife, wasn't yeah. no big thing. 
Because <laughs> he was always lucky He was enough. always lucky enough to not worry about it. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, if Sweeney, I'm just saying, if Sweeney hooked up with the right people, Sweeney could find a couple of spots, you know, a couple of spots in the hood. Well, uh, they, they, they'll the exchange right, that goal for them. Well, <laughs> I'm just saying. The couple right of, people, <laughs> the right people like Mr. World. Hmm. Cause okay. there's there's some there's some pawn shops that'll take some gold. You oh, got you got gold. <laughs> yeah, 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 they'll take true. some gold. They'll, they'll, they'll hook you up. There's some there's some places that'll hook you. I, I promise you, when you go to those cash for gold places, you ain't getting the value. Uh, but you see, know? it doesn't matter to but him. He has, he has he has everything. He he has tons of it. It's yeah. just limitless for him. Yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah, but um, but without his luck, um. Yeah, the fact that no one believes in leprechauns and all that stuff—that's why he just—he was deteriorating more and more and more and more. And without his luck, it was just, yeah, it was very fast. And then came the alcoholism, you know. Yeah, yeah. So you know, I mean, that's that's the tough part. Like, um, I hate the stereotype that Irishmen are drunks or Native Americans are drunks and all yeah. that stuff. But yeah, um, he really was like. The ants, I I read it as he's detoxing Mm -hmm. and he's flashing back at the same time because the booze kept the bad memories away. Mm. So that's why he was so quick to hurry up and find something to drink again Uh (laughs) to numb the pain. Uh Uh-huh. Okay. All right. All right. You know, I don't know if you've ever known any alcoholics, but I've known one or two. Yeah. hundred. And um, (laughs) one or two hundred. (laughs) And, um. Yeah, it's like, oh, wait, nope, starting to feel the stuff I don't want to feel. Uh, where, where, where's that whiskey? Yeah. Uh, but then when he left that 20 to Ibis, I was just like, oh, boy, uh-huh. here we go. Yeah. Um, yeah. It was sad. And it yeah. almost seemed like Ibis was trying to save him for a second. Yeah. Like, Ibis was like, he was like, look, look, man, look, the story's truer than truth. Don't worry about it. He was <laughs> like, what do you mean? What do you mean you're not going to see me tomorrow? You're not going to see me tomorrow? So it's, it's weird. You have this, I guess, camaraderie between the gods that I had never seen displayed before that moment. Because, really? I mean, they all I mean, kind of seem like... They in the episode before where it yeah, was... Yeah, but um, I, see that, I see that as a whole bunch of frenemies that are together because a war is coming, not because they enjoy each other's company. Man, and then when I saw... Now you're getting me in trouble. <laughs> now you're getting me in trouble. I was telling my girl just this morning how, you know, the frenemy thing, that ain't part of our culture. <laughs> That's yeah. not a thing. It, you either got but, your friends, you got your enemies, you got yeah. your family, but you don't have the... Because it was like, that are, that, no. yeah, and <laughs> no. so that's how I saw the gods being together. It's like, look, we're together because of this new gods thing. We're not really together because like you're my, you know, my best friend or something like that. We, <laughs> we don't really care about each other like that. But we got this larger threat. We're gonna deal with that. Um, but seeing how Ibis handled him, how he talked to him, I was like, oh, there's so okay. So there's some there's some camaraderie there. There's mm-hmm. some actual genuine you know, uh, affection towards each other. Well, remember and that, the I dug deaths that. that they can't recover from? Okay, you yeah. Know? <clears throat> and everything about him in that scene was like, here's that 20. Um, you gonna be all right, man? Why are you giving me your valuable stuff? Like, red flag, red flag, you're gonna yeah. go commit suicide. I see that. You know? <laughs> and he didn't, he didn't particularly commit suicide, so maybe he can return. Like, it wasn't yeah. exact... But I do like how he handled the uh, spear at the end. He was like, just one last, <laughs> one last F you. Oh, we're getting there. Peace. <laughs> we're Clean. getting there. Yeah, we are, we are most definitely. He like getting faded there. out. He was like. Yeah. <laughs> no, we are most definitely getting there. That, that was. Um, but yeah, so um, getting his memories back, talking to the Queen of Sheba, who really awoke up all those things. Yeah. Um, and I'm like, okay, all right. So Neil Gaiman does love him some stories. He loves just stories for the sake of themselves. Where, yeah. Which is why he's like, you know, um, the story is truer than truth kind of thing. That's a very yeah. Neil Gaiman esque thing. Um, <clears throat> but him going through that again and hearing the Banshees wail. That was the thing that made me go, oh, man, stuff's about to get real. Now, yeah. you know the legend of the Banshee, right? Yes. You know? So when when he started seeing them and no one else was, I was like, man. But I still thought he was going to die in the finale. 
Okay. So I was like, oh, they're probably going to kill him in the finale. But they did not. Uh, they did not listen to my instructions. <laughs> they they killed him right then. They were like, "No, he's going today." Yeah. Well, it, <laughs> he's it, not going to make it through the night. Yeah, it, it's an interesting thing on that note because the, one of the big things about the about the Banshee Legends is um, when you hear the Banshee, somebody's going to go. Yeah. Maybe not you, but someone. But death is here. Yeah. It, it, and see. As I've always understood it is only the person that's going to go can hear them. Okay. So that's how I always understood it. But I was probably from some comic book or movie that, you know, (laughs) I saw and, you know, Mr. World set that up for me. (laughs) But but, um, yeah, when when only he could see it, I was like, man, he's probably going to lose it next episode. This is going to be it. Mm -hmm. And I was wrong. And now I will say when he walked into that room, Bill Quist and everybody getting up like, (laughs) <laughs> yep. It's like, look, uh, like, but like I said, I think all the Shadow gods lost their name and it became Paul and Bennett. Like that, that was it. <laughs> and that, it's like, but it, oh, I'm Bennett. I ain't in it. Yep. I'm it's like Paul. This between y'all. Yep. It's like, look, <laughs> yeah. I like, hey, but that's how I feel. Like Shadow should have been. Like Shadow should have been like, okay, this is what's fair. I'm supposed to protect this spear, but this beef is between y'all. So I can't let you use the spear, but anything else that goes on, that's between two grown men that got a beef with each other. Problem is that Shadow's job is specifically yeah. to bodyguard Odin. Yeah. Mr. Wednesday specifically hired him as a bodyguard. So it's, it's Yeah, like he introduces come, him as his muscle all the time. Uh, so And that was the pact. That yeah. was the pact all the way from episode one where those two first fought. Yeah. You know, so if Shadow just went, you know what? I'm taking the spear and Like I'm was, I'm not gonna give an unfair advantage. Mm-hmm. But kinda like, you know, you know, like you might be at a family function or something and two cousins, they've been at it. It's like, look, y'all just gonna have to scrap this out. That's y'all that just gonna have to, now I ain't gonna let y'all kill each other. But y'all gonna have to y'all gonna have to scrap this out. Yeah, but you know? again, <laughs> Shadow's job is specifically yeah. to be the one who scraps it out when somebody wants Wednesday. Like that is that is his yeah. one job. Yeah. He's got two jobs. Make sure nobody punches protect the spear her and pro- uh, protect yeah. Odin first. Oh, protect Odin protect first, win- yeah. and then the spear. Protect this as you would protect me. So he's stuck with both. He's stuck protecting yeah. both of them. And um, so he was up against it. Because remember, he even made the promise to Sweeney. He was like, when the time comes, do nothing. Just just, leave, just, just, just stay walk, out of it. Walk away yeah. and, you know, just leave. And and I didn't I didn't think it was going to be. I thought that he was going like mentioning something that we would see in the future that s- would come back around. Because sometimes the, in stories, they'll be yeah. like, they'll say something in season one, episode three, that comes back around in season two, episode six. Well, you know, and you're like, unrelated oh. spoiler. Oh. <laughs> That's all I got to say. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. We thought it was going to be something like that. But. It was technically the future. I mean, it was like 10, 20 minutes. You know? Yeah. <laughs> it, was a, it was a little quick for the future. <laughs> hey, man. 10 it's like, minutes. It's like, year, already? It's still future. Yeah, it's like, it's like man, already? Now, it was funny because I, I watched this episode with my mom um, on mm-hmm. Wednesday because I was getting her caught up. And you know what it's like going to, going to black theaters. Yeah. You know? That's what it's like watching TV with my mom because she's like, "No, nah, Shadow, stop being stupid. Stop yeah, being stupid." But that's that's why I want to go you know. see Avengers Endgame. I, I got to see it in the hood, but see, first weekend I ain't gonna be able to see it. Like, well, I already saw it, but I want to see it with you know with my peoples. I want to see it with peoples yeah. in the hood. Yeah, because there's there's some very loud cheer moments that you can only enjoy with a hyped up crowd. I'll say that. I okay. think that's the easiest way to handle that yeah. without throwing anything out there. And um, one of the things that was killing me, and I mean that, it was literally, it was just messing me up, was, um, um, ooh, wait, are we frozen up? Okay, cool. Yeah, one of the things that was messing me up was as much as, as much as I'm watching this, and I know that Wednesday is a trickster. He is, yeah. He's worse than Loki. 
Um, okay. He really is. I know this from mythology, which is what these books are based on. Yeah. I know this from comic books. That I'm like, you know, Loki gets a bad rap, I gotta say, because Odin is the one that's been lying and keeping secrets all this time. Yeah. You know, so I don't trust Wednesday. Especially and, and if we can duck into the MCU for a second. Uh, how are you not going to let us know that we had a sister that was mad, crazy, and murderous, and now that you're on your deathbed, you're like, oh, yeah, by the way, uh, your sister's crazy, and she's going to try to kill y'all. Peace. Oh, I'll take it a step further. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I'll take like, it you're a just step going, further. Like, you, you know. So, so how that's you, it? <laughs> how are you going to cover up all the historical art with all the art that makes you look cool? Yeah, <laughs> you know? um, I do like I do like that where, you know, she comes in, she tears down, you know, the, mm -hmm. the art and you see all this, uh, you know, all the like murderous stuff. Mm -hmm. And she was like, what do you think? How do you think we got all this gold? Yeah, as a and of it's fact, true. I was there. And, it, and know, it's true. We went through when the you nine think, realms. Whenever we you see, <laughs> whenever you see an exorbitant fortune, not someone who's rich, whenever you see the type of money that generations can't lose. The person that signs LeBron's checks. Yeah. The, <laughs> like once you see. That level of wealth, probably way long ago, something happened that was probably on the wrong side of the law. Old like there's money is when old yeah. money was new, it got it by stealing, slaving. Thank you. Or very rare cases, they happen to own the land that the gold was found on. Yeah. But they tend to have gotten that land <laughs> by and killing very, and stealing. Yeah, it's it's very. Like even because I remember seeing something where they were trying to make it seem like a, uh, they were like, oh, this, you know, my uh, my great uncle or whatever was a prohibitionist or something like that, or or he was a uh, he was a, a bootlegger or whatever. And it's like it's interesting how you guys are trying to play these people that were definitely criminals, yeah, at the federal level, but trying to treat them like, oh, they were just some good guys and made alcohol, man. Yeah, and it was like flash uh, forward. Someone commit a crime today, and it's like you should be ashamed of yourself. Well, even back should, then, oh my god. Yeah, even back <laughs> then, it was like, what? You're a bootlegger. Oh no. And it's like, but in a couple hundred years, oh no, man, he was just a meth dealer. Yeah, that like, was all. Yeah, it's like it's like, oh, you want to know how we got all that money? All right, check it. My great uncle lived in New Mexico. All right, <laughs> and he was selling meth, and. It was all good because he had the best stuff. He also worked with a guy that had a chicken restaurant, <laughs> had tons of money, and you know what I mean? Exactly. Now here we are now. Exactly. <laughs> um, Robert A. Heinlein, one of my favorite sci-fi writers, said time turns thieves into scoundrels. Um, what was it? Thieves into scoundrels, whores into madams, and murderers into revolutionaries. <laughs> it all just mm. takes time. And I'm like... Yeah. Man. And that that goes right in line with like you know stories are truer than the truth because mm -hmm. we see we see a lot of situations now where it's like you we are we know the truth because we have it on tape <laughs> we have we have we have a clip of said person doing this or saying this and then in this interview this person will be like I don't know what that is and it's like <laughs> it's like but no like we literally have a tape this is you yeah. this is you you even say it's you you're like hello everybody. I'm me. And then you say this. <laughs> but of course, the story is true in the truth. Right. And the storyteller isn't consistent. Story like, look, storyteller like, look, I'll say A today, say B tomorrow, next week say D, and then come back and say A was kind of A, but not all the way A. All right, let's, <laughs> let's get back to talking about American gods and stop talking about the government. Um, <laughs> so... So, yeah, I was trying to I was trying to keep this <laughs> as vague as possible. Sorry. Um, he was like, I know who you're no talking about. At Bid Pee. Um, <laughs> but what I will say is, um, yeah, the concerns, because, you know, with the fight and the way that the fight ended. Yeah, you're right. I'm like, you know what? I have always been that dude. Always like when in all stories, when the tragic hero faces their tragic death. I always like the one last, you know, you um one of my one of my friends, um, Stickman, actually calls it stealing a victory. Okay. Um there's a mm. movie called Way of the Gun where Sarah Silverman is just talking mad crap to Ryan <laughs> Philippi and Benicio del Toro. And um it's outside of a club because mm -hmm. they're sitting on this dude's car and he's like, Hey, hey, get off my car and they're like, No. And then she just 
goes. She just goes off. <coughs> and by the time she's done talking, there's going to be a fight. There, there, no, no. Because it's one of those situations where, you know, you done say this, you know, it, it's over. We got to fight. Oh, well, no. She talks so much crap that if it, it's your girl talks so much crap that you got to fight. It, there's like no, there's no way past it. We've all seen it, right? Yeah. And the thing was, Del Toro and Felipe, um, Ryan Felipe, you know, I'm from Cruel Intentions. They knew they were <laughs> outnumbered. It wasn't their club. This wasn't their turf. They were just passing through. So they knew that as soon as they started fighting, everybody's going to jump in and they were going to get the crap kicked out of them. Okay, okay. So when it was time to fight and the dude is like, yeah, I'm going to do all this stuff. You want to do the man dance? First dance is yours. So you know what they did? What? They stomped on Sarah Silverman's open-toed shoes and then punched her in the face and broke her nose. Wow. And then they got the crap kicked out of them by 20 people. But the reason they did that, and again, I'm saying this because pop. Uh, yeah. Because although they got their butts kicked by 20 people, the other dude's got to go home with Sarah Silverman with a broken toe and a busted nose. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah. So it's the. I'm yeah. not gonna win, but I'm making sure you don't win. <laughs> yeah, it's because it's like, it's like, okay, here's the deal. I have access to the horde, mm. and I assume that if the spear is in the horde, you don't have access to tons of people that can just go up in the horde. He was the only one, Ooh. except for maybe Laura. Yeah, maybe Dead Laura. Wife is the most yeah. recent one through that wasn't Mad Sweeney. Yeah, so possibly. Mm -hmm. So. You ain't got no one else to go through there. And all the trouble you went through to get this, I know it's important. So how about this? I know you set all this stuff up, and I know this happened exactly like you want, but this is something that you can't have. And I'm going to make sure in any way <laughs> I'm going to spit at you on my way out. Uh -huh. That was the <laughs> plague on both your houses moment. Um, yeah. What I'm concerned about is I'm really afraid that Wednesday went through all that to reforge and reruin the spear for that reason. That's what I'm afraid of. I'm really afraid. Oh, meaning like he knew this would happen or expected that this could happen. That the he only engineered it happening because Matt Sweeney was turning against him more and more and falling in love so with he probably that figured, terrible wife. Yeah, with dead wife. So I guess he probably figured... Sooner or later, he's going to try to take the spear from me. So yeah. I'm going to give it to... Sooner or later, he's going to try and betray me in one way or another. So let me just expedite that process and get him out of my way. I guess get him out of my way before the war actually starts because in the fog of war, he could easily turn and stab me in the back and I'll never know. Exactly. So might as well remove the piece from the board instead of letting it live mm -hmm. and... Uh, you know, so but Sweeney man, he grew on me. He that's grew what on I'm me. afraid. But yeah, oh, that, yeah, yeah. I Sweeney had me from the first episode after Shadow, big old Shadow, yet another brother I will never look like. <laughs> um, just laid into him at the bar, yeah. and he spit out blood. Stood up straight, laughed, and said, "All right, <laughs> this is what I needed tonight." I'm like, "Oh, I like this guy." <laughs> yeah, because it's it's funny because you have this situation where you know. He even engineered that. He said, you know, he wanted me to pick a fight with you. Mm -hmm. So who knows how much is really chance and happenstance and what has been engineered. But if that's the case, how does Odin kind of like own all these people? Like, you know, he's got to like, okay, Sweeney. All right. We kind of understand. All right. He killed Sweeney killed him. So he owes him. Cool. All right. Got that. But then you got Anansi, Bilquis, Ibis, and then I guess, you know, Bast and all those people from that. Then you got uh then you got like Mama G, who I love. I love Mom I love her from, Mama from G House got of Cards. Me at season six. So but yeah. She you know. got me at season six. That, yeah, that yeah. or episode six. Yeah. Where it was love, like a little respect is all I demand. She was like, she and was a little like, guidance is what I can offer. She was like, What mm -hmm. you want? You want oh, so you want so you want cause I can get it was it was one of those like your dad would be like don't make me get out this chair mm -hmm. if I get out this chair this is what you gonna see and she was like 
<laughs> and like she put, she was like, look, Laura's yeah. Head. She was like, look, don't. I'm. It's a good thing I don't write shows like this. Mm-hmm. Let me like, don't let that coin fool you. <laughs> don't let it fool you. Uh huh. It's nice. Oh, it's a nice addition. <laughs> but see, I'm older than that. Mm-hmm. So don't 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 let that coin well, <laughs> get okay. you messed up. So you met my mom. Yeah. And when I was a teenager, you know, being as proud of myself as I was as a teenager, <laughs> that's my way of saying moron. Um, yeah. My mom used to say one phrase that said, "All right, the ice is busting and your feet are wet," which was. Oh. You best watch your tone. Yeah, you, you, you've gone far enough. Uh, yeah, it's, reel it in. It's like yeah, it's and like reel like, it in. Blah 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 blah. You best watch your tone. And I'm yeah, like, yeah. Ah, it's like, I'm sorry, man. It's like ease it up, ease it up. <laughs> you know, because I, you know, again as a teenager, I hate you. You never let me do anything I yeah, want. You like, best watch your tone. I'm sorry, like, mother. I just yeah, happen like, to be perturbed at, at the decision. You know, you made. you know, you get a little mustache and stuff. <laughs> you get a little something on your chin. Can't nobody tell you nothing. You taller than her. You know what I'm saying? You're getting big now. You know what I'm saying? You're like, look, I say what I want. This is yeah. this is my house, even though you don't pay <laughs> nothing. And sometimes, like. My mom had to let me know <laughs> that you don't pay nothing. You don't own nothing. Mm-hmm. Go back in your room and sit down before it gets bad. And be and grateful that's after, I don't take that door off the hinges. And that's after she hit me square in my face. <laughs> <laughs> she was, man, I, I've never seen a little woman swing so fast. I was like, mm. it, I was just like. Yeah, well. I was yeah. like, you hit me. <laughs> I could tell some stories about my mom. Just the only one I'm going to say is this. She used to tell me all the time, you don't want to go there with me because I ain't afraid to go back to jail. Mm. And I'm like, it's like, hold up, back? back? <laughs> like, hold up, what you mean back? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, no, it's like, no, what did you go the no first joke. time for? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, oh, like, I found out. I will tell you off camera. Like, it's like, <laughs> why did you go the first time, mom? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, and you're just kind of sitting up going, um, okay. Okay, yeah, because. You know that old, like, the old black parent thing of, I yeah. brought you in this world, I I'll take, take you, you out? out? Yeah. Yeah. My mom added a third line. Actually, oh. two more lines. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Which is, I'll get back together with your father and make one that looks just like you. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, like, all right, that's a special kind of messed up. Yeah, man. you wrong. <laughs> like, yeah. go make another one right now. I ain't even worry about you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean. <laughs> It's one thing to have a we'll Hollywood even, we'll mom. We'll even name him the same thing. <laughs> right? Well, it's one thing to have a Hollywood mom. Yeah. It's another thing to have a Broadway mom that's like, don't think there ain't 12 people in line waiting to take your role as my son. <laughs> you know? Like, seriously. Oh, man, that's and funny. And that was Mama G <laughs> in, yeah. in that episode. Mama G, I, I love her. Yeah. And it's funny because she's like, she's like, man, I don't want to start killing people again. I mean, I guess I have to, but I mean, you know. I also remember I'm not only destruction, I'm also rebirth. Yeah. Like, I'm trying to rebirth. I'm trying to be <laughs> I'm trying to be new. I'm trying to be new. If I'm I had trying known to be you were nice. gonna say that, I would have pulled up the shot from Pulp Fiction of Sam Jackson going, <laughs> I'm trying real hard, yeah, trying Ringo. Real. <laughs> I'm trying real hard yeah. to be the shepherd. Yeah, it's like look, yeah. I'm trying to be rebirth. I'm trying to be good. You see me up in here serving people pancakes and stuff. Everybody's happy. But I will <laughs> dance on your severed soul. Yeah. If you don't shut your mouth, dead woman. <laughs> you know? And, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. So. But she, 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 I think she got the point. She yeah. got the point after that. And the thing about, um, to answer your question about the whole Odin thing, uh, the reason that people are kind of following Wednesday is that he's offering them something better than they've been able to scrape out. So just think about this. Um, you got a job and it's paying a little more than minimum wage, but not much more. Yeah. It is a job now, a J O B, keeping yeah. you just over broke. Yeah. And he's coming to you with profit share and stock options. Okay. You know. So, All right, okay. All right. You know. He's I mean, like, "Look, you know, not only like you're making say he comes to you he's like, "Look, you make you making 20 a year." All right, you just you making it. You got your you got your flat. You got your little loft. All right, you ain't even got a room in there. It's just a loft. It's just an open room with a toilet. Mm. All right, <laughs> but check it. You roll with me. Get you at that seventy five. Get two weeks of vacation. You know what I'm saying? Give you some stock options. You know. Oh, see he what ain't we can even do for offering seventy five. He's more like <laughs> fifty one. 
Oh. I can get you 51. He's like, look, I can get you up to But However, from 20 to 51, yeah, exactly. that's, that's a whole different world. And he's like, <laughs> I, I can take you from what you're making now to 51. And in 10 years, uh, you'll be up to 90. You'll be vested. You'll be at 90. Exactly. Cool. You know, so it's like, well, I don't like you. <laughs> I don't like you at all. Yeah. But I know when you give your word, you come through. Yeah. Hmm. And that's why Mama G won't leave the um won't leave the diner. She's like, I'm gonna weigh this out because I'm all right. I'm at twenty, but I don't really need yeah. fifty. Yeah. I mean fifty would be nice, but I'm kinda like, you know, people from the hood getting offered a job at like forty thousand, mm-hmm. but they would have to sell out their integrity and they're like yeah. or more to the point, the person from the hood that gets all the way up to that CEO status and then the company tanks and it's like, oh, oh. I'm broke again? <laughs> and opposed to taking a header yeah. out of the window. Like, oh, yeah, no, it's like, and it's like, oh, I'm broke again. It's like, oh, well, I'm, I guess I'm, I'm glad I still got my mom's house in the hood. Yeah, it's <laughs> like, you know, I, I'll make it. You know, we'll, <laughs> yeah. And speaking of that, yeah, there is, when when there was the financial crash, uh-huh. there was a, there was a, <laughs> there was a community of people that were like, well, I guess we're going to have to ride this out. Because that community of people have been like, yo, I know about pork and beans. Mm-hmm. I know about eating dry Cheerios. I know about bologna sandwiches. Yeah. I can make, do I like it? Nah, but nah. I can make this work. Mm, that's exactly it. Another community and, of people. Oh and, my God, whatever <laughs> shall I do? <laughs> you gonna eat pork and beans and ramen with me? Like, we cool, I got some board like, games. Look, you better go get that big box of ramen, start hucking it up. Throw some like, <laughs> pepper in there, swish it around, maybe throw an egg in there like, or something, try to f- freshen those, it up. With all those houses you bought back in 2006, <laughs> any of them got a packet drawer? <laughs> <laughs> well, get some of them yeah. packets, add it in there, you know. Yeah, I got some duck sauce, up. we cool. You yeah, know, we I got can, some we duck spru- sauce, I got some poison, <laughs> I got some Lowry's, we do this all yeah, day. Yeah, we, we can do this all day. <laughs> yeah. we'll, we'll make it work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so. But yeah, and that that's, that's where Mama T is. So Mama T is kind of going, I don't trust you. But yeah. if you do come through, like, put me on the third wave. You know, uh, I ain't going to be the vanguard. You know, put me <laughs> on the third wave. Put yeah. Me, Even though she did make that comment about, like, the newer generation. Like, but she was she was just like, no, nah, you know, I'm cool. I'm cool. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm, I'm cool. I'm, I'm cool where I'm at. And that's kind of where Ibis is, too, because Mr. Ibis has always been like, it's my job to write it all down. I'm just yeah, supposed so, to be here to see everything. Yeah, yeah. so it's weird. Ibis is in a place where he's kind of okay no matter what happens. Yeah. Because he <laughs> deals, and that's why Anansi kind of charged at him like, like, you don't really care, do you? Because mm-hmm. no matter what, you know, people still die. So it's like, you know. And he's like, I've been watching people die since the beginning, man. It, it's, yeah. This is just part of the bird's eye view lets lets me see that this is all secular <laughs> you know he was like they'll even they will end up on my table mm-hmm. <laughs> so yeah but that you know that's pretty much i guess that's pretty much you know how i was feeling about your boy you know I, we I, I figured we had to we had to send him off yeah 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 that's the show whole him thing. some sweeney, love sweeney was very tragic because if he had his druthers he'd not be involved yeah, but he was stuck. He was stuck just like Ifrit, you know, just like Ifrit and just like Shadow. And that was, you know, as long as we're talking about Sweeney, which we're supposed to. Yeah. Um, his conversation with Shadow in the room was like, yeah, everything is good with you right now. But I was you. All right. Th- this right here. This this is this where face. you're going. This is your future. Yeah. Unless you get off now. Get off, quit, and just tell all of us to screw ourselves yeah. because we are bad news. So this is your chance to get out. You know, he, he Look, his disappear. nose is bleeding. He's wearing the straw hat. He's like, get out. Yeah. He's get like, out. <laughs> he's like, look, he's yeah. like, you know, just leave, go, disappear. Mm-hmm. Just find a life in the Bahamas somewhere. I don't know. Elsewhere. Just go somewhere. Yeah. Just go somewhere because none of us. None of this leads you to like fame and fortune. Yeah. None of this is going to lead you to even like a happy, quiet life. <laughs> no. And it would be interesting to see how 
Shadow's life plays out after this moment and how close to heart he takes those statements from Sweetie. Well, we only got one to two seasons left, so we'll, yeah. we'll see. Yeah, we'll, we'll see on not that. too much longer. No, yeah, because <laughs> we're way past the halfway point of the book. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, so the other thing is, um, you know, um, Shadow put himself in some really messed up positions in the last thing. Okay. Um, position one that he put himself in is he owes Sweeney. So is he now the keeper of the horde? Um, I, oh. I really liked. I really liked the idea that Sweeney managed to call off the debt um, to Odin because that that's one of the things um, in old mythology. Okay, we're talking fairies, but we really know it from Hades, the Greek god of death. Um, when you eat their food mm -hmm. and you don't offer anything, well, if you accept a gift from a fairy, you have to give them something of equal value. It's it's a zero-sum exchange. <clears throat> so Odin is sitting up eating all the food that the grievers leave, but he's like, them three grievers are banshees and you ate their food. So you owe the mm. fairy people. I'm one of the fairy people, so I'm calling it in. We're even. We're square. I don't work for you anymore. And he had the right to do that. <laughs> wow. And that's, See, I didn't I didn't know they were really banshees. I just thought that's what he was seeing. So, oh, see, thank you for illuminating okay, that, no my problem. brother. No thank problem. You. But see, this is why I think Odin engineered it. Because <sighs> you think Odin wouldn't know about going into debt with the fairy folk? Yeah, he'd have to. Or, yeah. well... Here's another thing I think about Odin, and I know we got to wrap so we can watch the actual show, the finale. Yeah, because it dropped a few minutes ago. Yes, but I think his his deceit and his hubris is going to be what takes him down. The whole, I'm too cool for school, you can't outlie me, you can't out-trick me, that's going to get you caught up. That's going to be the thing that trips you up because there's going to be a blind spot somewhere of like, oh, I got this. Nobody, I'm old and I take life as it comes and blah, blah, blah. And I lie and I cheat and I do a little trickery and that's, blah, blah, blah. And I think that's going to be. Um, they tend to always do so. Um, if you recall in mm. episode seven, um, when a Nazi was talking to Thor, telling him when he thought he was all clever. You yeah, know, and that that's if you're a trickster of any kind, eventually you're going to step on your own self. Yeah. And eventually or trick yourself into a corner mm -hmm. where you didn't you didn't see you didn't see the actions or the reactions of other people coming because you expected another reaction from them. That's exactly it. That is exactly it. That is the thing. Um so when it comes down to what the future of the story holds we'll just have to see on that yeah. says the dude who read the book <laughs> um, well they are changing stuff for the show so we never super know but I mean I don't know how close they're matching the book or not um, honestly there's a YouTube channel that I'm hoping will take this on um, it's um, God, what was it called uh, not once the difference although they could but um, it was I don't know the, the dude's name is the Dom and he okay. actually does the. Um, He's like, oh, it's called right, this Lost is an Adaptation. Oh, okay, the, okay. The thing is called Lost in Adaptation. And this is a <laughs> late like 20 something year old that is amazing at it. So hopefully he'll cover it. Cause, yeah, probably when the series know. is all over. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because exactly. um, it would be weird to try to do it as they're writing it because, yeah. Yeah, I mean, but yeah, I like that. I like that Game title. Lost that, the Adaptation yeah. is great. I love yeah, it's, that. It's a fantastic YouTube channel, 15 minute videos, and like. He covered like Dune and the Harry Potter wow. books. And the funny thing is, I saw Dune for the first time a couple of years ago. Okay, and I was like, "Man, this is great! Why didn't they ever try to do it again?" And like, uh, my boy uh, Brandon Easton, he's like, a, he's a sci-fi writer. Right. He's like, he's like, they did. <laughs> he, was like, he, was like, he was like, but just, just they did. <laughs> he was like, they, just, they, they did, but just keep the one you got. Don't again. don't worry about it. Just keep the one you got. Because like, I watched, uh, I was like, bro, man, this this is really good. And the one that you got wasn't even the whole one of the one you got. Oh, so well, the one, the one, the I guess the one that was in the eighties. It had it had pretty much everyone who blew up 
Because <laughs> like, it's like you, you see that. you, you know? see actors and like oh look at young so and so and look at young this and it's yeah. like wow but I saw and I was like man Patrick this is... Stewart never had hair yeah. you know I mean yeah it's like but yeah you watch it and you're like man this is really good why didn't they ever try to redo it <laughs> and, and Brandon, like, my boy Brandon was like yeah they did just yeah. don't don't even no just yeah. keep what you got yeah just don't even worry like, about the other stuff <laughs> like I can give you the books like, but it's gonna take some time because uh, um. Again, you and I, I, I talked to you about Game of Thrones a lot. Dune was Game of Thrones before Game of Thrones. Uh, so we're talking, one, each book is like a thousand pages. Whoo. Two, it goes deep into politics and heraldry yeah. and resource control. And yeah. then after the initial three books, then you get a 1,000 page book on how each family came to power. And wow. then you get the future and I'm just like, yep, 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 yep. So this is wow. why. Yeah. And again, since I watch everything, as you know, third party omniscient, as in I don't imprint on the people on screen. <laughs> I don't imprint on stories. I don't go, hey, that's me. I'm like, nope, I ain't in this. I'm just looking at y'all. I'm just Man. looking at y'all. <laughs> Man. Yeah. Now, so. I, like when I, you know, when I break down stuff, I'll apply like situations I've been through. But I, I don't I'm never like, yo, that's me. Unless I'm someone I'm like. All right, that's kind of like me, so I'm gonna approach it from this. But usually, I just I just attra- like well, attack it from like these are people I know, and yeah. like yo, she I don't know he wrong for doing this. <laughs> well, you know, most stories are actually written. Um, most stories like books, comics, TV, movies are written for the purpose of the watcher to imprint themselves on. Yeah, this is one of the reasons why Twilight and The Matrix did so well. Because mm-hmm. the main characters were so bland and so generic, anybody can see themselves as Neo or as Bella. You know, you're laughing, but there have been studies, man. There have been studies. Whoa. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Whoa. <laughs> you, know? you know what? Look, I'm not going. I'm not going to dog that out. The Matrix took a step and, and took a chance on something that nobody was doing at the time. Yeah. I can't. I'm not going to clown them because it's easy. It's easy to pile on the Matrix, but the Matrix did a lot of cool stuff. The Matrix get, was an instant sci-fi classic. Yeah, you know, like, the moment you, you saw Part One in 1998, you knew this is going to be around. This yeah, is, like I remember around. being in the theater. I, that's the nothing beat. I saw that in the theater more the most times until Black Panther came out. Okay, I saw Matrix okay. in the theater. I think four times because I remember seeing. I remember seeing it and being like. Yo, I've never like because I've always because I've always loved I've always loved the stories of, you know, how far is technology going to go? Mm-hmm. I've always loved the stories of what it, does it mean to be real? Okay. And I've always loved action and I've always loved kung fu flicks. Okay. And someone said, "Hey Michael, here's everything you like. <laughs> how? <laughs> One movie." I, I I get that. And it's I actually competently shot and yeah. competently written. You know, yeah. I mean, now of course you could it's not the deepest of all writing ever, but it's at the time of what was coming out in 1998. It was let, let's not forget what else came out. Phantom what Menace. What do you mean? Phantom Menace came out. I, around. I, I'm, so, I'm sorry, your your mic keeps going out. Uh, <laughs> I, I can't hear it. Yeah, well, but yes, no. there. You know, well, wait. What else what came was, out? <laughs> Phantom Menace. Oh, I'm sorry, your mic <laughs> went out real quick. I just. Yeah, but, I'm sorry. Uh, I, 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 guess like, I, I don't must, know. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I don't know what it is. It must be one of the spells I have. But yeah, here. but uh, <laughs> yeah, it's for the time. It was competently written, competently shot, and it was just like, this is everything that I've liked since I was little in one movie. How could someone do this? <laughs> is this even possible? How is can it? you ruin every other movie for me? Yeah, it's like it's like. Yeah. But then, but then, of course, this week we've seen a movie that straight up. If, if somebody was like, you know what? No more movies by this company. I'd be like, I'm, not, I'm cool. We'll I'm cover cool. that tomorrow. But we'll cover that tomorrow. Um, anyway, with yeah, that said, yeah, yeah. So, continue. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so, I mean, you know, given um, the conversation that happened there, um, Shadow owes Matt Sweeney a debt because yeah. he made him the promise. He said, all right, fine. I promise. Sure, whatever. And, and he, he didn't come through back. on the pro- yeah yeah he didn't come through on the promise so it is quite possible that Matt Sweeney could come back because he is owed he mm. Shadow now owes him in the same way that that Sweeney owed Odin because a debt's yeah. a debt yeah you know? now that's 
one thing that I thought was interesting, and I didn't know if they were going to handle it. Maybe they'll handle it. The finale or something else. But what do you do when you've made a, a promise to two gods and the and that promise conflicts with one another? Could you yeah, just... could you isn't that fun. Yeah. Could you just then, kind of like I said, be like, look, I'm going to leave the board. Y'all have... Like, I'm not going to do anything to you. I'm not going to do anything to you. But I'm not going to stop whatever this is between y'all. Have you read the Iliad? Yeah. Okay. Remember the whole thing started with a bet between Athena and Hera and Venus? Oh. Paris was, you know, Paris was just the poor unfortunate soul that got caught up. (laughs) (laughs) You know, it's, hey, which one of us is hotter? Uh... Uh, 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 that's when that's when it's like it's like it's like I'm trying to think of so I'm not I'm not going to say any names because I, you know because I don't need any trouble. Uh-huh. But three three wins like which one of us is hotter? And they're all like magnificent beauties. You're they're like all goddesses. You're like yeah. you're like well what I'd say is I'd say oh man hold. I, <laughs> <laughs> They'd be like, they'd be like, your home screen is on. You're not. They'd be like, no, no, it's coming. It's, it's the calls coming. Huh? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Mom, okay. Okay, mom. I'm on my way. Yeah, the, All right. I'm so, I, I love you. I love you. Bye. <laughs> but you know, my grandma dropped acid and attacked a school bus full of. I gotta go. And, I, yeah, it, I. I'm not even. I, yeah, that, yeah. I'm not the, even. The only answer when you owe two conflicting gods is suicide. That that is the only thing that you can do. Wow. Because, you know, you owe me. You owe me. Well, I want you to take him out. I want you to take him out. We're both calling in the favor. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Done. He's <laughs> like, know. who's hotter? Um, huh? Oh, <laughs> I'll, I'll be right there. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, guys, I got to go. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> you know, it's. I'll tell you as soon as I'm done on this trampoline. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Um, so yeah, I mean that that's that's really the whole thing. Um, so yeah, Shadow is in a conflicted situation, but now this brings this brings Laura more to the forefront. Yeah, because what we're sitting up with Matt Sweeney is this: he gone. Yeah, Sweeney is gone, but Shadow owes him because of the promise. Yeah, and Laura has all of his luck. So, is Laura going to become the new Matt Sweeney? Does is Shadow what's, what's have gonna access to with this the potion? Horde? You know? Yeah, yeah. what's going to happen with this potion? Well, I remember Mama T, or sorry, Mama, that's my mom. Mama G. No, Mama G said that she don't need the yeah, potion. She, she's she's got like, the power she's in like, the man, coin. She was like, you got all this voodoo mess. <laughs> it is, I do I do like the way the guys re- refer to each other like that. Because even when Sweeney got down, he's like, look, ah, ah, nope, we don't want no war. We don't, nope, nope we ain't, nope, uh, we don't want that. Ah, Take your butt back up north. We don't care. We ain't interested. <laughs> like, yeah. She ain't even let him get a word out. Uh-huh. It's like, sweetie, hey, how's it going? Ah, before you even come in here, nope, mm-hmm. nope, 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 nope. We ain't interested. Again, uh, <laughs> Mama G don't play around. I'm like, ah, oh, they're always so dramatic. Um, Just click your heels together, girl. Yeah, now get like, out of my restaurant before I call the health department. <laughs> yeah, that was, it was interesting because it was like, yo, like you got flies all around. It's kind of nasty. Like, just get out of here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. The the chat sitting up going like, yeah, the film that we dare not speak the name. And of course, which one of us is hotter? Um, You're so good to me. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. You're it's so like, good which to one me. of us is hotter? Man, it's a shame I'm blind. But you know what? If I could see, I would try to help you all out. But unfortunately, I can't no, see anything. You don't give a God that kind of out. You oh, do yeah. not get yeah, too bad. I'm blind. If I could see, I could answer that question. Poof. You can see which one of us is hotter. Uh, um, uh, 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 <laughs> you know, uh, <laughs> it's, are, it's like, are you sure you did it? <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, um, but we should get out of here because it's been yes. like an hour and a half. Yeah. And we got to watch another show. Yeah, exactly. Because we're excited. And we got to yeah. see the show. Exactly. And I got to so. get something to drink because. I've been talking with you guys mad long. Actually, I didn't even pay attention to the chat. I'm sorry, guys. I should have been watching the chat. That's my fault. No, it's sorry. cool. <laughs> it, it, it is cool. Because, again, NP City, they're always there. They're Aww. always there watching. <laughs> yeah, always there. 
Never away. Always. Never away. <laughs> um, yeah, but um, what I will say is, um, you know, thank you for calling me out to have this whole thing. Like, thank you for showing up. Yo, it... You once I found out you watched the show, I was like, "Cool, you watch the show. Let's do something." <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was just like, "Yeah, you watch the show. Great." <laughs> oh so, yeah, and the chat, uh, the chat is saying, "You know, they still love you." Oh, uh, look at that. Oh. Well, thank you. I, I love you too. <laughs> yeah. So I think all of you are beautiful <laughs> at the same level. <laughs> <laughs> so, and again, uh, thank you guys for clicking on this link and tuning in. <clears throat> um, you know, where, where can they find you, my good man? Well, you can find me at That Nerd Soul. That's T-H-A-T-N-E-R-D-S-O-U-L on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Also, you can find me on YouTube at Nerd Soul. YouTube.com slash N-E-R-D-S-O-U-L. That's right. Pal, Nerd Soul. All up. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, you can find me there. We can talk about Wu-Tang. We can talk about, you know, Star Trek. We can talk about American Gods. We can talk about Stevie Wonder because Nerd Soul is Hip Hop and Geek put together. So, Check me out. Let's chill. Have some fun. All right. Very cool. I would talk about uh, Stevie Wonder with you, but I'm a little superstitious. Anyway. Oh. That's right. I have a dollar you know to what? the punch good one. for that. Good. You know, yeah, no. Good, I, I, good I, one, I, sir. No, I, 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 I'll, I, let it, I'll let this slide. This, this, no, this slide. I won't. <laughs> if I let myself get I'll away with it. it, then all my guests will try and be funny. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so that that's a no. But, um, yeah, so... Um, we are going to get out of here soon, but if you guys want to tune in, um, because we're going to watch American Gods and then we're going to do a live cast about our initial blush reaction. And you can find that at that nerd soul on YouTube. Here's the page. So just head Aww. on over there and look make sure to page. push, yeah, make sure to look <laughs> at the like button, the subscribe button. See, yeah, come on over. See, I already hit it. But yeah, you hit that subscribe button right there and you hit the little bell and it'll tell you when we're going live. And, um, you know, you can totally, totally come in and watch us talk more. As soon as we watch the video, we'll be like, oh, man. Oh, son. Yeah. Oh, look at that, son. And we'll, you know, we'll be posting that up tomorrow ish, maybe Monday. Yeah. But as soon as possible, we got to wait. We have another person we're getting video in for. We, yeah. We're having a lot of fun for the finale. Oh, uh, real quick. I just made three years. April 26th was three years for me. So oh, seriously? Nerd Soul is three years old. And I just passed, well, our video or maybe the Avengers video will uh -huh. be a thousand and one videos. So I just, I've just crossed a thousand videos. Super fun. Thank you guys for hanging out. That's like two subscribers per video. That's... That's that's a lot. Yeah, yeah. That's you, a lot. You are, you're prolific, my friend. You're rather <laughs> prolific. I, I need to get on that. I don't too. know if I'd say prolific, but uh, <laughs> ba baby steps. Just, just inch it up. Trying Fair to inch enough. up. <laughs> and um, so, yeah, just make sure to uh, go in and subscribe because if you push that notification bell, then you will know when we post the video of what we thought about tonight's episode, which is the season finale. And um, again, thanks to everyone over in NP City for coming down and doing the thing with us. You know, thank you guys. It is really, really appreciated. Um, you know, without you guys, I don't know what I'd be doing except for probably back in college or something like that. So, um, with that, I'm going to say, please, 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 um, subscribe to us here on Twitch, head over to, um, back in the deck over on YouTube. And of course, if you guys have anything to say to me and you're not in the chat, you don't have to be in the chat. I get it. Some people are like, you know, I'm afraid to sit in the chat because most people in most chats are monsters. I get it. They are <laughs> monsters. And I can't like run the show and use the band hammer at the same time. So I ain't hating on you if you're not joining NP City. But if you want to talk to us, then feel free to kick up a keyboard and pull up your email. And send us something at backinthedeck at gmail.com. That is B-A-C-I-N-T-H-E-D-E-C-K at gmail.com. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're doing more on the YouTube every week. We've got a new show called How We Roll, which is about my experience in becoming a nerd. Just story after story after story. Pretty much in chronological order when it comes to gaming and comics and all that stuff. Um... Follow us on Twitter where I put up one or two polls that are might or, or might not um, 
and listen to. But how do you know? I don't know. You're going to have to follow <laughs> us and find out for yourself. Um, join our group on Facebook, that wretched hive of scum and villainy known as Facebook. And you can find us on Deckers on the Book because if you're watching this, you're a Decker. You might not know it, but you got a card that people like to pull on you. But um, also head over down to SoundCloud and you can listen to and download all of our broadcast, um, at least the audio, and you can keep that for free forever. And you will be able to do that for as long as I can keep affording to pay for the SoundCloud. And of course, follow us on Instagram. And how do I afford to pay for the SoundCloud and all those various things? Well, I'm glad that you asked because you can head over to patreon.com slash bid underscore p. And for as little as $1 a month, as you can see, we got six subscribers now. And um, you get access to all the shows that we do. And I upload them them as quickly as the internet services allow us to do all that excuse me excuse me and you have access to all of our entire archive including the live streams that we do on youtube and the live streams that we do on twitch and polls that we actually listen to and at the high enough tier levels you don't just get to request for us to do for us to cover a game or to cover a tv show or to cover a comic book or to cover something like that you can tell us outright if you pay enough but if you don't have the money to do that i totally understand just share our information <clears throat> get us more subscribers all those people that you know that might be nerds that aren't really comfortable going to different places because they're afraid of mean people throw them our way we got you. We got them. Everybody is welcome, but not everybody is welcome to take over the conversation. You know what I mean? But with that, here's all of our information. And remember, if anybody tells you that you can't have the hobbies you like because of the circumstances of your birth, be it race, religion, creed, gender identity, sexual orientation, your disability, or your budget, you just tell them that we said to take those cards and put them back in the deck. And we will see you guys next time on the dark side of the room.